Hey everybody, Anna Sabremowitz here. I hope you're having a fabulous Wednesday. Woo, hump day, all right. Are you excited? I know you're like, what am I excited about, Anna? Okay, so today's episode really, uh, this live, this session is really going to talk about how you can take the things that, um, the work that you're doing and actually do it in a way that spurs your creativity, that doesn't make you feel like you're a slave, like you're a minion. You're actually doing things in the way that inspire you, inspire the people you're designing learning for, engage your learners. Let me tell you, let me show you. Okay, first off, first off, uh, if uh, you can hear me, uh, let me know uh, if there's any issues. Uh, I had a little bit of issue the other day, but it's all good now. <laughs> uh, and the other thing I'd ask is, this is something, um, once you hear about it, um, if it's something that you're like, oh man, I want to dig deeper into this. This is really resonating with me. I'm loving what Anna's talking about and I want to get to learn more. I won't be able to share everything in this live, right? Because that's that would be a long time uh, and would probably overwhelm you. Uh, so uh, if you want to go to elearningsecrets.com, uh, there you get a write-up of a training that I'm putting out and then you can sign up for it and be notified when it's live. All right, so... Um, if somebody is, would be helpful enough to put elearningsecrets.com in the comments, that would be super fantastic because then people could just click on it and I wouldn't have to type it in because I can't because I'm in front of a whiteboard. All right, let's get started. So, uh, first off, I'm going to start with a story because that's why we're here, right? We love the stories. Let me tell you a story. So, uh, just a little while ago, I was working with a subject matter expert and one of the things that... Uh, they said was that uh, like we were looking at some some resources and one of the things that they said was uh, you know you should check out this other uh, learning that I put together uh, with this other agency uh, because uh, it'll give you some ideas about the kinds of scenarios that we've been using to teach our our uh, learners but uh, you know she's like don't judge it it's just it really is just a glorified PowerPoint and I'm like, okay, I won't, right? And I mean, if if you're uh, somebody who's uh, designing learning, an instructional designer, e-learning developer, you're listening to this, good, because you're in the right place, <laughs> um, then one of the things you do is you've seen a lot of stuff. You've seen a lot of other people's stuff, all those things. And so I'm coming in there going, you know, I could, I'm expecting a ton of different things. So then I look at it and I got to tell you guys, I'm looking at other people's work, right? And I see it and it and it's it looked like there's some serious craft went into this. Like some serious work and thinking on how to make this content that she put together engaging. The problem is that I as a person who knows the back end of that, I can look at all the pieces that are working and flowing and going together and I can see that uh, amazing uh, effort that went into to make this like a really cohesive experience well branded everything looks good functions well there's no breaks but in the end she thought the end the output to this person who doesn't know any of that stuff that happens in the back end to her the experience is a glorified PowerPoint I felt bad for those people that developed it because I know I saw the final product and I know all the work that had to go into it to make that happen. And one of the things that I'm gonna show you today is just how we really need to moderate that so that we can be uh, the creative aspect, the, the leadership aspect in those situations with a new framework and a new model because the old way of doing things is not working for us because even even after all that effort that I know went into that actual module to develop it, the even the, the person who, who received that product saw it as a glorified PowerPoint, which is to me just, I hope they never find out that's what she feels about it because it's terrible to me, <laughs> right? Because it's, it hurts, it hurts because these are my people, right? So if you've ever been in that situation, uh, if you ever felt like, you did all this work on the back end and somebody else, like the end person looked at it and they're like, oh yeah, they're not impressed. And you're like, do you know, do you know? Um, you know, give me a, oh yeah, that's right. I've been there, Anna. <laughs> been in the I'm in the glorified, I've uh, been in the glorified PowerPoint club. Uh, and it's kind of interesting because 
you know, uh, it happens everywhere, but I'm trying to show you that there's, there's a better way. So first, let's just deconstruct the old way. And, and by the way, if you're loving this and you want more and more in depth, go to elearningsecrets.com and register for my webinar. You're going to love it. Well, first you got to read about it and see what's entailed. And if it sounds like it's all going to be awesome and you want more of that, then just sign up. Otherwise don't. Okay. <laughs> Cause you're going to not have a good time if you're not into this. So one of the things that I got notes today, because I don't want to miss a thing, cause this is going to be awesome. Um, so, <laughs> so that story was sad, but let me really, um, put it in perspective is is if imagine if you you're you're like a dad and you come home and you're like kids let's you guys want to do uh a glorified powerpoint tonight you want to check that out and the kids would be like first they'd be like what what is that and then second of all be after like the second slide they'd be like dad this is like info on page and it's okay where's what what are we doing dad this is boring and we're doing that like if you think about it to your kids, you're like, Anna, that sounds kind of ridiculous, but really that's what we're doing to the people that we're putting out the work to, right? Other adults. And we're like, kind of like fooling ourselves. Like this is okay. It's okay to have this kind of stuff out there and people have to go through it. Like, like we've somehow like diminished ourselves. And I think the problem with, with this is because we've come from this, like, you know, um, this idea that, that PowerPoints, right? And I mean, the software has been doing this to us and we've let it and we've set a standard. We're saying, hey, have this integration into your PowerPoint uh, software and you can now take and click something and it puts it out into, um, you know, some sort of a software package, which you can then track, right? And then the problem with this model no, nope. that's, that's actually a better face. It's like this, this is, so there's, there's the PowerPoint, right? And you're supposed to be doing something with this. Let's say it's a presentation from a live training session. That was amazing. Right. But this is what happens. It skips over you. You're no longer the creative agent. You're no longer an agent in anything. You're a minion. And it's the software that's solving all the problems. And the problem with this is more than one, but the fact that we've made a glorified PowerPoint, which is kind of like the most simple <laughs> and direct and painful way of describing it as our standard. And now we're okay. Like I'll see stuff and be like, yeah, look, look. And I'm like, what? This is, a, this is a glorified PowerPoint, but nobody's going to say it out loud because they're embarrassed because it took six months. Right? Cause you were or organizing content. So how do we get away from this? Like this, this sucks. I don't know if it sucks for you, but it sucks for me because I'm there, you know, I'm, uh, when I first started freelancing, I thought, yeah, this is me. I'm going to be, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be really doing the stuff that I love. I'm going to be so creative. I'm going to be all over this. And none of this software solution really solved that problem for me. And it's because I thought, that it would, and that we still think it does. But now you have templates. Now you have design guides. You don't, it's like you're taken away out of that role. It's, it's really people do see us now as people who just happen to have the software, not to use it. But what about this person being the actual designer, the designer, the creative? You're not right here. You're really not. You're like, sometimes this is, this is even worse. Uh, and I've, I'm not saying everybody works like this, but this is what I've experienced. I'm sorry. My nose is itchy right now. So <laughs> one of the, uh, the worst things is when you get a template that you're supposed to use in your interactive PowerPoint. And it was designed by like the branding, uh, area and the, like, and then you're just supposed to like superimpose that on every single thing. That's a learning experience. It's just like, like, there's nothing there that you can really do to, uh, anyways, those days are over, baby. I'm going to show you a different way. Okay. So the other thing I wanted you to just think about to really bring this home for you, really just like make it clear. Imagine this individual here 
is Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg sees a book. The book is Jurassic Park by uh, Crichton. And instead of actually writing a, you know, a script um, and a uh, screenplay, what he does is it recreates an interactive book. So you go to the cinema and you see text on screen. Ridiculous, right? I mean, it's now <laughs> available to the masses. You're saving money. Terrible, right? Terrible. Okay, let me use my awesome eraser. So this sucks. This, I hope you agree, this sucks. And this is like, it's like, it's kind of out of your hands because this is now the center of the stage instead of this, instead of the idea, right? <laughs> By the way, you're loving this. You want to get into like the next level stuff? eLearningSecrets.com, sign up for that webinar. You're going to love it. And also it's live and interactive and all that stuff. So it's going to be fun. Okay. Now let's get into the new, the awesome. By the way, any questions, uh, anything popping up for you, pop them in the comments because I love questions. Uh, I love addressing them. And also uh, I can answer them in future lives. And I also read the comments when I finish the lives. So then I can, you know, answer any questions that way as well. If I feel like it's something I could help with. All right. So, <clears throat> so really we just talked about like the glorified PowerPoint, the glorified book. Hopefully I drove that point home enough, but let's say, let's say, and you know, I talked about Steven Spielberg and he's kind of an icon, right? But what if there's an, a Steven Spielberg inside of you? I'm not saying you're going to become one with my new framework, but what if there's a, that, creativity that's been bubbling in there, it's just simmering for years and years and you're finally trying to let it out. What if it's in there and, and software has been kind of like, no, use this template. No, no, just convert. No, just put it out in a package. What if you're ready? You're ready for it. So, uh, and here's, here's a, a thing. Like what I'm trying to, to uh, really show you here is the new way is this. This is you. Uh, I, yeah. And you are Steven Spielberg, let's say, whatever. The, the e-learning version, right? But what you've got, what you start out with, just like Steven does, is a framework for what makes a great experience, right? Now we're talking about interactive storytelling, right? Interactive storytelling. Here's a test. I go, I'm a dad, go to my kids and say, hey kids, you guys want to do interactive storytelling tonight? And they're like, yeah, dad, we're already doing interactive storytelling. It's called awesome immersive games. And you're like, oh yeah, they're already doing that in a different medium, in a different place for a different audience. Can I do that for my audience to engage them, to teach them, to give them aha moments? Heck yes. So you're the Steven Spielberg, <laughs> Steven Spielberg of e-learning. And you walk into this, this situation with a framework because Steven knows that there are elements that make something engaging, that make a movie go. It's got to be a hero. There's going to be a challenge. There's going to be conflict. There's going to be a, a, a vision for the future, right? All those things. He doesn't go, I'm just going to throw it all out the window and start with a new template. No, 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 no. He's got a framework. He's got a framework. He knows he's walking in. So this is what's wonderful. You also in the interactive storytelling have a framework. And then what happens is you, you're the instigator. You see, no PowerPoints around here. You're the instigator, right? You're the person looking out into the world, finding things, looking into the business. And instead of uh, relying on presentations, you rely on the humans that are doing the work, practitioners, experts in the field, 
um, top performers, people who are crushing it because you want to figure out what's the secret sauce. What do they struggle with? How do they get here? What are their challenges? What are the conflicts? What are the key decisions they make daily to get them to be the best or the next level, whatever that is. And guess what? Then you take this awesomeness, whatever, yeah. <laughs> and you put that into your awesome storytelling framework. Now, this stuff right here, you're basically taking their uh, experiences, their stories, the things that they have um, overcome and combining that through your magical interactive storytelling framework. And it, it's, it's not actually magical. I, I'm calling it magical because I think it's so cool, but it's really a framework. And once you figure out the framework, you just need to work within its constraints to get these people's stuff into it. So what's what's beautiful about this is that you're not being the, like, you're not like coming up from, one of the, I think the biggest things about being creative is that when you're in a zone that you have no clue about and you're like trying to make up stuff. Now what you can be creative with is you gather all the info, you gather all the decisions, and you can be creative in how you string and string them together. So you're no longer coming up with the raw material, which is wonderful just takes the pressure off. Now you have all this raw material and you can create that experience. Just like Steven Spielberg, he doesn't come up with Jurassic Park. He looks out there, he's like, oh, that's a good one. People love that one. Can I make it into, into a different kind of experience? Right? That's what you're doing here. You're no longer like, oh, look at this info. How do I turn it into something useful? Because I just got bullets and there's a 400 slides of bullets. How do I do this? Right? It's not like that anymore. You're coming in with a framework. You're coming in with a vision. You're coming in talking to people saying, how can we optimize what's going on? How can we make this better? How can I make that experience uh, a good experience for somebody? How can I take them from a place of not knowing what's helpful and useful to a place of yeah, show them the vision. One day you could be one of these people. If you apply these skills, you make these decisions the right way, you could be this person. And th I mean, think about this. What is this? What is this really? It's a story about a person who's, let's say, Luke Skywalker. First, first scene here, what's happening? He's a farm boy, doesn't know what's going on, kind of, you know, uninspired, something bad happens. And then he's taken on a journey where he has to make a whole bunch of decisions. And at the end, this farm kid gets to be the guy who saves the universe and gets a medal from a princess. I don't, I don't, he knows that's his sister, right? I, I, I don't know. I, I thought that was weird. But anyways, so, <laughs> so that's awesome. That's, you know, and okay, we got to get away from things like, you know, Star Wars themes and all those things. That's not what we're designing for an audience that you're still painting them a picture of something they're aspiring to. This is the new awesome way to design learning. Now there's no way, <laughs> there's no way that at the end of the thing that I put out here, somebody's gonna call this glorified PowerPoint. There's no way. And it's not because of the way it looks, feels, all those things. Those are extra, those are bonus. They're gonna be engaged with decision after decision after decision, and they're gonna be a part of that vision for that. They're gonna see themselves achieving this. They're gonna get that satisfaction. That's different than a glorified PowerPoint. So, what do you think? Fun? Awesome? You wanna be here? You wanna be the, I love this. I, I think I'm gonna get a t-shirt. Instigator, right? I love that. Instigator, instigator. <laughs> instigator. That's what you want to be. Uh, another where you want to be is trusted advisor, right? Trusted advisor. <sighs> yeah. I want to be choosing the tools. I want to be, I want them to work for me. I want me to be the one going out there connecting people and ideas. I want to be the instigator of good stuff, not the software.
not the latest release for it to tell me what I should be doing, but for me to be out there going, I'm inspired, but I get to make that decision because of all the things that I have in my back pocket as far as being the leader of that experience, of that process. So, want to learn more? Think that this is something you want to get like deep, deep, deep into? Go to elearningsecrets.com and then just sign up for my uh, upcoming webinar. But before you do, just read what's there. It'll tell you what it's what it's about and what you get. So, uh, so you can decide if if you want to spend that time actually digging deep into these processes because I think they're super fun and uh, they inspire me to to do better work. And you know, and then also I see other people who are putting in so much work into uh, their own modules, and then the final product still ends up looking like a glorified PowerPoint to somebody and you're like, my God, there's a better way. What is it? This is it. So I hope you had a good time. Uh, you enjoyed yourself. If you think this is uh, something that's awesome, you know, upvote it because then uh, you get to see it again and also other people get to see it and spreads the word because we got we got to change the way things are being done right now. Just saying. Um, and also if you have any questions, any comments, post them underneath so I can check them out. All right. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you here again tomorrow. And tomorrow I'll be getting more into the details about this framework. And a lot of people have asked me, Hey, Anna, how do I get good at storytelling? Well, you, there's a good way and it doesn't mean you have to like, you know, become like Stephen King and every day write 10 pages of story. <laughs> there's a better framework for that, which is what I love, right? Frame frameworks and patterns. All right. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.